Line it off is blue And there's nothing I can do Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today we are doing one of my favorite songs. It's Space Oddity by David Bowie. Some fantastic chords in this song and uh, I'm going to take you through the whole thing from start to finish, including a little arrangement I've made for the solo section in the middle so you can play it on guitar by yourself and still keep the song going. So download your chart, let's get started. The, the very intro is a kind of a weird one, a la David Bowie, was his specialty. We're doing this, um, I guess it's an F major 7 over an E. So that means you've basically got an F major 7 chord, which is an F major 7 will be that. We're adding the C onto the bottom of that F major 7, and we are turning the bass note from an F into an E. The easiest way to understand this chord is to do an E chord and slide all of your fretted notes up one fret, then add your first finger on the B string first fret. And you get this weird and wonderful chord, which we're going to call an F major 7 slash E. F major 7 slash E, down to E minor. Do that four times. Let that E ring on. It kind of sounds wrong, but it kind of sounds right. And the strumming pattern is just what you hear me doing. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. Now, before we go into the rest of the song, I'll just explain that a little bit further. Down, and you'll see my hand do another downstroke in between those strums. So we're going down, miss, down, miss, up, up, down, down. Now, of course, that's not the exact strumming pattern that you need to follow all the way through this song, but it sounds good and it fits really well. The reason why I'm doing those misses is that it's easier to keep your hand moving to the beat and it'll keep you in time rather than trying to stop and start your strumming pattern. So if you're going one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, then your hand is going in exactly the right direction for these strums. So instead of trying to remember down, down, up, up, down, down, which some people can do and some people have some trouble with, you're going one e and a two e and a one e and a two. Dun, down, up, up, down, down. So they all fall on the beat that they that you need them to, but you're automatically going in the right direction with your hand. Your hand will keep you in time, trust me. Work on that. Get that first. One knee and a two e and a three e and a four e and a down, down, up, up, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down. That's why you see my hand moving a lot of the time even when it's not strumming. It's just kind of keeping the beat and making sure it's in the right position for an either an up strum or a down strum on the right beat. After that little intro, ground control to major tom. So I go C to E minor. Do it again. Ground control to major tom. Then we do this nice little run where it goes A minor. Take your protein pills. Proton pills? Protein pills? Anyway, A minor. Move it down to A minor slash G. Now, technically speaking, that turns that A minor into an A minor 7. It doesn't really matter. We just call it an A minor slash G. But you're basically reaching your, fin your third finger from the G string over to the third fret E string, like that. And put your helmet on. And finish on the D7. Hit the repeat. Do it all again. Ground control to major tom. And that's where you hear the countdown thing happening in the background. A minor slash G, D7. This time, the second time through, after that D7, there's a three bar kind of pause on that D7 where you're not really strumming the D7, but there's noises happening in the background and the countdown and all that kind of stuff. 
Then it moves into what's basically the next verse, which is the same chords again. This is ground control to major tone. Now we're going to an E7. You've really made the grade to an F. Now we move to an F minor. You can do it like that if you're playing an open chord F or if you're playing a bar chord F. You're doing the same thing to the same note. That note on the G string goes from the second fret to the first fret. Either way, that's your F minor. And the papers want to know whose shirts you wear. I like to use the bar chord F here because it gives you this, this bass note going down to that C slash E. There's your C chord. But we're adding that bottom E string to that chord. So that's why when you go from the F bar chord or the F minor bar chord down to the C slash E, you'll get that. Right? And the papers want to know the shirts you wear. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. Repeat that whole line again. This is major tom to ground control. Back to F. Now F minor. C slash E. Back to F. Now F minor, C slash E, back to F. Here's where it changes. So here, F major seven, which is just your open F chord with the open top E string sounding. So it's actually easier than your open F chord for a lot of people. Here am I floating in my tin can. This time it's an E minor seven. So you've lifted that note off the D string. Back to F major 7. Far above the world. Now here is a really nice little run of chords and probably one of the coolest lines in pop music, rock music. Planet Earth. This is a B flat major 7. And the pitch is on your screen, so just be careful with it. It's first fret A string, third fret D string, 2nd fret G string, 3rd fret B string, 1st fret E string. So it goes, planet earth is blue, down to A minor, down to G, and there's nothing I can do to F. Then we've got an, an extra bar here of 2-4, which is just basically an extra two beats that we hold the F for. So once you land on that F, it's a count of four, but that's the way it kind of fits. Then we're back into 4-4 four, four time again. And this is one of the signature parts of this song. Bar chords you will need to play here because you've got to cut these things short. We're going C, F, G, A, A. C, F, G, A, A. And it sounds kind of sloppy, but that's the way they play it. And what you're doing is, again, with this hand moving constantly so you've gone one e and a two e and a three and four da, 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 da. so they're all triplets one two three one two three one but the first one one two three starts on a downstroke one two three that starts on an upstroke one two three one two three one two three And then that G, you kind of hold that chord for a little bit longer. So it's short, short, long, A, A. Do that little run through twice, and then it moves into the solo section. Now, I've arranged a little uh, a section here on a separate downloadable chart where you can play the, the, the bits that you're hearing here, which I did for when you, when you perform live. Uh, you want to keep this song going, but if you're just strumming the chords, it sounds a little bit bland. So... What you'll hear is that little kind of fill over the F major 7. Then it moves to E minor. It does 
those notes. Then on the A, you just play the open A string and do this. So that's a simple little kind of, you know, A major blues pentatonic run. Then we go to a C. Again for the D chord, we're playing an open D string. Now, on the last chord, which is an E, you can actually just play the E chord. The riff that you hear in this solo is this kind of flabby, out of tune, sort of super distorted sounding riff. It's hard to play that and get it to sound as, as weird and flabby and, and as kooky as they do on the recording. So if you want to just play the E, that's how you finish off that section. Then it goes back into another verse. Go on past 100,000 miles I'm feeling very still Same chords. F minor, C slash E, F F minor, C slash E, back to F Here's another change. G to major tom, two beats each on these chords. Your circuit's dead. Now the A minor down to A minor slash G. There's something wrong. Can you hear me, major tom? D7 for a whole bar. Then we do a C slash G, which is a C with a G added on the bottom. So you move your third finger over to the E string third fret and put your pinky where your third finger was. Can you hear me, major tom, for a bar? Change it to a G. Can you hear me, major tom? Can you hear? And then we're into this section again. Am I floating in my tin can? F major seven again to E major, E minor seven. Then we're doing this lovely line again. B flat major seven. Planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing I can do. So B flat major seven, A minor, G to F. Hold for an extra two beats for the F. And then we do these chords again. Then we're moving into the end solo section, which I have not tabbed out because it's kind of weird and wacky, and, but we, the chords are the same. So I'm gonna play you out. those chords that sit under the solo section, ending on the E chord. And say thank you for watching, thank you for the support that you're giving the channel, I really appreciate it. This is a fantastic song by David Bowie, it really has a lot of chords in it, but it's well worth playing them all the right way and putting this song together because it's one of the all-time classics. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you here again soon. Bye for now.